Hey there, Tate Murphy here, and I want to talk to you about something that's been on my mind for quite a while and, and something I don't really understand, and I think it has a really big impact. And it's this idea that millennials are asking why too much. You know, we hear this in articles on LinkedIn or around that these millennials, these younger workers are always asking why, and it's driving people nuts. And I'm here to say that this is actually one of the biggest indicators of a fully engaged millennial workforce. If your millennials are asking why, this is a really, really good sign of the health of your organization. And let me tell you why. Have, if people started to think about why their millennials are asking why, they might uncover that it's digging into the context. So if you give a millennial, uh, if there's a challenge that's posed to them and you tell them you know, how to solve the challenge, you're only giving them one context. Millennials have grown up in a world where context is constantly changing. It's always shifting, there's always new challenges, and it's really hard to, you know, as a manager, to be constantly giving people a new answer, a new answer, a new answer, as things are evolving and changing over time, which, as we know in business, is happening quicker and quicker and quicker. You know, landscapes of economics, everything is shifting at a way higher rate than it used to. So millennials are really just trying to tap into what is the greater context around this decision so that as things are shifting, I'll know the process behind the answer that you gave me so that I'm not going to run into as many roadblocks, I'm not going to need to ask you as many questions down the road, and you're not going to have to rescue me as much. Because I'll know what you would do because I know the context and the reason behind your thinking. So businesses are moving away from a really strictly managed process oriented structure uh, you know that worked really well 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Now that things are changing so much quicker, we need to be able to adjust and adapt on the fly and that's why your millennials are asking why. They want to be able to serve you better. Now it, this thinking comes back you know, to a lot of different things as well. People ask, okay, well, why, you know, why do millennials not like to phone people on the phone? And the answer isn't that they're afraid of talking on the phone like you normally hear. The answer may be that it's out of respect for the other person. You know, I'm thinking about what's going to be best for you. If I shoot you a text, there's no requirement that you answer me right away. If you're busy, you can answer me when you're free. I'm thinking about what you're doing and being respectful of your time. This is the same thing. I don't want to bug you down the road when something has changed a little bit and I'm not sure what to do. I want to know what to do so that I can be a better employee for you, so that I'm taking more work off of your plate and allowing you to face outward and really you know, be the true leader that you need to be in this business and stop working under your pay grade, solving things that I should be able to figure out. This is gonna take a lot more work up front for a leader or manager to be doing this with the millennials and you know any, any workforce or any people in the workplace, but it's a huge investment in time and energy for massive gains long-term. As we're moving these people up from you know, lower end workers to you know, middle management, senior management, they need to know the context in order to effectively lead. So as you're developing these workers that are asking you why questions, you're actually investing in their future in the company so that when they're a manager or they're, you know, they're leading other individuals, they already know some of these things in the context. So what, think, think about the difference between somebody that's not engaged in their work and somebody that is engaged in their work. The one that's not engaged in their work doesn't care why. They don't, it doesn't matter. They're gonna do whatever task you've assigned them to do they're going to go home. They're not going to think about work. You know, they're just working for the paycheck. Somebody that's asking you why is interested in your company. They're thinking about the process when they're at home. First thing when they wake up, you know, when they're talking to other people, they're curious about what's going on. This is a very healthy trait. This is a trait of somebody that's engaged in what you're doing, that's investing their time and their energy into trying to find the best solutions for you. They're trying to solve problems without asking you. So when you're thinking about, oh man, this, this millennial or this worker keeps asking me why, 
invest the time in training them, invest the time in explaining the, gr the greater picture, the big context, and down the road, you will not regret it. So I'm Cade Murphy, and that's the story on Millennials Asking Why. I'll catch you next time. Thanks.